At some point, my brother owes me a slap in the face. Maybe we should talk more about that when we actually get to it, since there's some footage there to look at. And then, should we tell them the special thing? Yeah, because it'll make them stay. Okay. And, they, and, and I could see everybody is kind of... Tonight, in this... Depending on the syllable that you land on, they go, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Underworld, yet too. Tonight, in this very room, we are going to be filming the season finale of The Chris and Scott Show, and you all will be a part of it if you want to be. So, if you want to stick around. It's real boring. It's not as fun to make it as it is to watch it. You just say things over and over and over 30 times. Do you want to tell a story about what you're filming today and what that fan did? Okay, so... I that fan that I hope is not in the room to get offended. No, it's okay. He did a bad job. <laughs> uh, but how, is he, how is he supposed to know what to do? We told were, them twice! Well, we were, okay, we were sitting on the steps out there. Well, specifically! Because we were filming, like, the thrust of the episode is that we don't remember what we did on our panel. Last year. The last year, because we got so drunk. And, we're, and everybody's like, it's going to be awesome, I know it. And we're, we, we're scared we're not going to come anywhere near whatever we did. Because we can't remember what we did. <laughs> so we're sitting on the Fiction. stairs. I don't want to reveal the underpinning of that joke. Okay. Though, the specific part. But, so we're sitting on the stairs, we're going, God, Scott, what do we do? And just, there happens to be a guy back there just watching us film. Because we're filming here in the lobby. Yeah. And Scott's like, wait a minute. Here, come here, come here. Come around. All we need you to do is we're sitting here talking. You interrupt us and you say, hey, guys, loved the panel last year. Can't wait to see how you top it. Yeah, this year been better. And then last year was amazing. This leave. year, oh, can't wait to leave. And he goes, okay, I can do that. No problem. We're like, are you sure you don't mind being on the show? He goes, no, I, I'd love to. He'd love to. Why? And Van says, Van, you're so many, I will, when I motion you, just come up and be like, show was great last year. Can't wait for tonight. So Chris and I go, oh, I just can't. I don't know what to do. What are we going to supposed to do with this town? The guy walks up and he goes, Chris, show was shitty last year. Been when you rock. <laughs> To my credit, me who normally gets pissy, I went, oh. and Chris is like, opposite of what we told you. <laughs> I'm saying, no, but I didn't do it that one. It's like, no, 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 you don't, like, not that much ad lib. You're supposed to say you love the show, and this year even more love show. Yeah. And then he goes, okay, I got it. No problem. <laughs> Take two. Take two. Guys, it wasn't crazy about last year's show. Hope this one's going to be great. <laughs> and Chris goes, no, wrong. Yes. Everything that you did is wrong. It was great. Except, everything was Except for everything was wrong. So Van and Patrick jump in and are like, oh, I don't like to do this. I'm fuming. And Chris, fuming. Looks at me, Chris looks at me as we're sitting there before the shot starts. And Chris goes, guys, robotbaconpodcast.com. Catch our Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thank right. you. Know, so he's going to come and say, this thing is like, he's going to come in and just. <laughs> so I am like. Yeah, and then I turn to you and I'm like, God, I got a man. I got a real man. Well, it's what happened. See, here's, it used to be Mike and Jerry were here. And we're just, oh, oh look at them. Oh, they were good. <laughs> and then they went, oh, what is that? What are those hands? <laughs> he makes me laugh. You're handsome. Fat guy makes me laugh. <laughs> join, us, join us for a day. Nope. Join us for two days. Nope. And then pretty soon, Starts like to right around out. here, so I got a little yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> what ended up happening is one time we went a little too high, and then we just kind of stuck. Yeah, so but we now them. we're really getting close to one. I know. To where they are. Right. And it is amazing. And now I understand. We're better than most people. It's not the best part is that it's about confidence. Because now that we know it, it just gets better and better. Yes. <laughs> because we came up here tonight with nothing to say at all. No, who cares? We don't care. Oh shit. I'm asleep right now. <laughs> you can say anything, guys. Cantaloupe. Woo! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it took them a little time, though. Mike and Jay would have got it immediately. Oh, yeah. They had the warm Well, we need We're them above us a little bit at all times to keep us going. Striving. They, they're driving us start. up further. 
That's true. We need them digging new ground up. Right. And then, and then we just walk on the nice level ground. And right. Up. Behind them. Right. Always with the coattails in sight. <laughs> but like I remember, I used to think, I don't know if Mike and Jared really like me. But they say they like me, but I don't know if they do. It seems like there's kind of an inner circle and I'm not in it. And I don't know, maybe I shouldn't try. Now I'm in the inner circle. And people are like, feels like Mike and Jerry don't like me. I'm like, probably don't. <laughs> Well, are, ask, you, are you in? Ask yourself a question. Are you in the inner circle? Probably not then. <laughs> I would aim for that. <laughs> we got in. And yes, and on any minute they could cast us out. Well, let's enjoy Probably on the while basis we're of here. <laughs> let's enjoy it while we're here. <laughs> and we get a stick up on the back. Ow. Ow. Oh, sorry. Koo just stands up. On his hover jet. <laughs> the doors just go. <laughs> touch him. And then you and I just go. Oh. No, just like, no, he gives us one of these. Oh, he does the clean Cast us up and clean on Paul, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then Jerry goes. Yeah. And then I say, You don't have any big words? He goes, No more big words for you. <laughs> Give big word time. So, yeah. No further big words. No more big words. No more big word. <laughs> or complete. <laughs> no. Uh, oh shit. Well, no. So now what? What else do we have? I don't know. I don't know. It's a pretty room. Yeah, great room. <laughs> huh? Whiskey. Oh, I got a, I got something I can talk about. Tell me. This is the first time I've worn a suit with no undershirt. It feels pretty good. I asked Angie this for Erica and Levin's wedding. I don't understand. Why do you wear the undershirt? I wore one because everyone does, but I don't know the purpose. I don't want to nip out. <laughs> I'm when somebody takes What Angie off. said to me was when I asked her, her answer was cruel and sensitive, and I thought it was just her taking a shot. And I don't know if it's the truth. No, no, no. She goes, most men have to wear it because they have a lot of chest hair, but you don't have to worry about that. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I've got like two black spheroids here. <laughs> they, they just absorb all light. <laughs> and if I were just reveal, you'll just be staring into these orifices. I have one chest hair that I named Harry. <laughs> I think he's gone today. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes he's, he's he falls out. Today. Sometimes he gets run too hard and he pops out. <laughs> Have to wait for him to grow back. Well, don't just stand there doing this. I check. Is he there? <laughs> You're there. You're there with me. Reasserting my manhood. He's like, it's like your pocket watch. You just flick to feel it. Make sometimes, sure it's sometimes before sex, I'm like, I'm, I'm nervous. And Harry's like, you got this. <laughs> And then my three pubes snap, crack, a pop. <laughs> Tell me. To your credit, they are long. We are retracting <laughs> to make your dick seem bigger for you tonight. <laughs> we'll see you on the flip side, and they just go. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the opposite of snick is. That's a snick. Be <laughs> snick. Uh, actually, the other thing is that it's cooler. You don't have to worry about sweating so much. I wear it to protect the suit from the sweat. You know what I do to not be uh, hot in a suit? What? I don't wear a suit. <laughs> yeah, but, but then you don't have a suit on. I know. You got nice shit. That's the problem. Maybe. You have to understand, I, I've been married 13 years. And whether I get it late or not is not depending on a suit. <laughs> Those days of suit determining any kind of bed action are way past me. No. See, you're in the early stages. No, I'm engaged, so that you're engaged. ages from she, suit wearing. She still remembers dating. Right. Right? That's still fresh in her mind. There was she's closer to maybe I won't see him again till I love right. my life with him. Right. Exactly. We're almost dead. <laughs> We're very old. They put a suit on a corpse though. You'll be wearing a suit then. Just start a little early. Maybe. Good luck getting me in one. 
I have a hard time getting a suit now. My, everything moves. <laughs> Wait till that rigor mortis sets in. No, I'm gonna put on another suit later. I got a costume change. Little known fact, when fat dies, it just solidifies like a bag of cement. <laughs> They just wheel me in and put me on the ground. They don't even dig anything and I just go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they wait till it rains. Right, then, then, they put, then, they put, then they just drop a coffin on top of that. It's <laughs> <laughs> a coffin inside your head. But once that's in the ground, this guy was in the bank. But they don't know. <sighs> don't you kind of want to do fun stuff like that for when you die? Like leave shit in your will? Just to make people laugh, because otherwise, what else would they do, right? It like, depends. in my last will and testament, you know, everyone gets this, who gets what, my affairs are in order, now for the fun stuff. Only CNC Music Factory at my funeral. <laughs> right? I have to be put in a baby coffin. Hey, you did <laughs> Find a way. It's like <laughs> Not my problem. No. In the strictest way that you can mean it. I'm dead as shit. Not my problem. <laughs> just leave them. Just leave them drugs. Hey, who did who did the uh, who did the song? Y'all ready for this? Nah, 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 <laughs> it was uh, it was a couple people trying to do that EVP thing where they listen to white noise and hear a voice. <laughs> and they heard that. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> Spirit, if you can hear me, and you feel the need to talk to me through a radio and get static, I guess. <laughs> tell me why you died. What does that mean? Uh, it means the space is think. too close to K-Rock. It doesn't mean there's a ghost. I have a friend that believed in that EVP shit. The ghost played a spot on. Is it EVP? Yarker. What was it called? The White Noise movie. Were you, have you heard yeah, this? Yeah, I think it was White Noise. Oh. No one's heard this? They know it. They know it. Well, no one's answering. Yes! Electronic voice phenomenon. Bullshit. The premise is that the ghosts have been waiting since, since Victorian times, apparently, for radios to be invented. For technology to be invented so they could talk to us. Like, I want to speak to my loved one. Well, it's 1823. We have to wait for Marconi. And then we have to wait for someone to think of bullshit and set it between stations yeah. because they're sick of hearing erasure and they want to hear from their pop-pop, maybe. But the sad thing is my buddy believed in it because that movie White Noise came out and I'm like, let's try it. He's like, no, and I'm like, no, let's do it. So we set it between the radio and I, we recorded it and, and Mark was like, Spirit, if you're out there, we, we're, we're, we have a, we're, this is a room of peace and a room of acceptance, and if you have a message, please let us know. And then he recorded it, we played it back, and it's word of God, it was creepy as shit. It was just like, Robert. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. That is creepy. That is weird. He goes, see, it's real. And I go, no, it's not real. I don't know if it just we were listening for a word and we heard Robert or if it went like clicked on a station and someone was like, today in Robertstown, you know. Yeah. And we just heard that thing, but yeah, oh, that's fucking creepy. But he's it like, it's real. It wasn't ghost thing, it, it was a dryad. <laughs> it was a water nymph. It was a water nymph. <laughs> Ghosts are not real. Uh, I don't believe in it either, but I won't do it. I won't do the Bloody Mary thing either. Oh. Why would you? Who here has done Bloody Mary? Or candy man. Who's here has drank Bloody Mary? <laughs> I won't do that. Put, put your hands up and keep them up. If you've done Candyman or Bloody Mary, okay. keep them up. All ours. Now wait. 
keep your hand up if you for real did it in a completely dark house with no one else in the fucking house. And 